Do you, do you remember the sheer terror on the people's faces when you guys came in with the guns blazing? Were they just like, or were you just focused on grabbing that big bag of money and getting out of there? I mean, well, you try not to think about it, but I mean, of course, people were probably terrified. I mean, you know, it was for us, it was just like, uh, it was something you do that you don't think as far as who's on the other end because you have an objective. But, you know, I, I know for the people who were there, the innocent victims, they were probably shook up and the tellers, you know, because of just that particular act and how it took place. It was just something that, you know, is something that anybody would be scared in if they were a part of. Man, it's like it's over before it began. You know, it's just... Um, you know, less than an hour ago, I was at home in, uh, the West side of LA and a nice, uh, you know, a condo chilling with my dogs. And next thing you know, I'm in a high speed chase with the, uh, sheriff behind me. And, um, so we, we pull out and as you know, the pursuit, uh, entails, we kind of like, we, we bust it, we bust it, we bust up the street and we hit a corner. And we pull into this parking parking like uh like a parking lot. Cop gets out, the sheriff gets out, pulls his gun out, and we're sitting there like, oh man, this is this is a wrap, man. Already we're sitting there, and it's like, you know, and the guy, the driver, he guns it. So we gun it past the sheriff who's aiming the gun, but he didn't fire. And we run past him, and we have a getaway car, uh, an SUV. A Lincoln Navigator parked in another parking lot. We didn't want to go straight there to take him there, so we kind of tried to think. We tried to shake him. So when he got out the car, gave us enough time to kind of drive past him, and then we went into the other parking lot. And they already had cops swarming the whole area, helicopters, everything. So we pulled into the parking lot, switched cars, <clears throat> left the clothes we had on in the initial getaway car, and um, jumped into the the SUV, the Lincoln. And um, it's early in the morning, so. It's only obvious when we pull out three black guys, they look at us, we look at them, and they're like, there we go. And another high-speed chase ensues. So we drive from there, we're, we hit the free, we drive into traffic, it's, it's commuter traffic, we jump on a freeway, it's raining, you know, and it's like, man, what do we do? It's a rap, and it's just basically playing out a bad ending, a bad song. Did you guys ditch the guns in the first car? Yeah. Okay, so that was a, probably yeah. a smart The only thing move, we right? had in the car was with the money, so we had dished the guns, dished the clothing. We're in the Lincoln Navigator. We drive and drive and drive in. There's, I don't know how many cop cars following us, helicopter. You know, Ghetto Bird is on you. It's a wrap. You know, they threw a spike strip out, ran them to spike strip. And now we're on rims and driving in rims in the rain. And uh, the car finally comes to a halt. He's like, man, I'm just going to stop the car. So they stopped the car. They, they, they remain in the car. I jump out. I'm like lightning. I jump out the car run around the front of the car, jump over the freeway uh, fence, the little embankment, run across traffic, run up another embankment and try to go find somewhere to hide. And eventually I get arrested on the boardwalk in Ventura. It's a wrap, it's a wrap. That, I knew that was gonna be the last time I was gonna see the streets for a long time.